would still tell them that I got you. Hey, I was facing death alone. Hey, nobody called my phone. I'm just like, God, do you hear me? Please forgive them, they don't know that they sin it. I'm gonna be a star, please believe me. Hey, dim the lights and you can see me. I'm gonna be a star, please believe me. Uh, yeah. Hey, heart throbbing. Uh, I feel like pain is a life sentence. Uh, gotta get up and keep going. Gotta get up and keep going. Uh, yeah. What's up, guys? Before we do anything, I just wanna say that, uh, we are doing part two. I did see a spoiler though. Um, can't help it. IGN does what IGN does. So, scrolling on Instagram and I saw this from Andy. Sorry, something's not adding up here. From Andy from uh, Kind of Funny games he said uh we watched three hours and 37 minutes of the game awards which we only watched an hour and something because it's very long that's a long time it really was but honestly with an extra five minutes to have more devs who accept the reward and uh celebrate themselves especially in a year in our industry with the thousands of layoffs layoffs are definitely bad but again when devs accept awards in the past they uh they say the same thing. They say, oh, I appreciate everyone for the team. Appreciate the ones. For you know, it's just a whole lot of appreciation. I feel like it's cliche. Nobody's changing it up. Nick. Fuck. Uh, damn, what's his name? I hear his last name all the time. Cognita. Cognidra. Nick Carr or something like that. Last thoughts, I guess he made a whole thread with it between the Muppets, Kunumaraji, Hollywood actors screaming, shut up, or talking about their broken foot. I can't wait till we get to this part because we haven't gotten to this part, guys. We're going to skip it, though. Uh, apparently, they take too long, right? And then this guy, you guys know how I feel about this guy, including Gamer Tag Radio. I forgot the other guy's name already, but, you know, those two... And then when he was in Xbox, Xbox, Cass, oh man, I couldn't even listen to the podcast anymore. Hate that guy. But other than that, we're going to get back to it. We're going to see what the rest of the show's like. Also fixed audio. Should be a little louder. More Another louder. game announcement. This one, 65 million years in the making. I own an island. Of Costa Rica. Oh, this is that. Really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. <laughs>
last three minutes of my journey. Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer, Zed. Hello everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. Like it's the shirt. eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. Best audio design. And the game award goes to Hi Fi Rush. Thank you so much. <笑>えー、信じられません。<笑>えっと、えー、このような素晴らしい賞をいただきありがとうございます。えー、制作チーム一丸となって取り組んだ成果を、えー、評価していただけたことを大変嬉しく思います。えー、制作をサポートしてくださったあ皆様、また作品を応援していただいた皆様に、えー、心より感謝いたします、えー。本当にありがとうございます。Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has, to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. Of 
somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That is your destiny. I, the keeper of the New West, welcome the destined one. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. This is my kind of destined for extermination. You're too, Michael. Not so this. Oh, this is the face of a destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathe in blood yet preaching peace. Oh, your mortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Sweet destiny. Oh, Jack, it's <laughs> Batman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. <laughs> Justice League actually... will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Do you think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. He's the fastest man alive! According to all these girlfriends. Was planned. Time for us bad guys to save the world. Ah, come on. Top of Suicide Squad, and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch. But I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But, yeah, we Keeps have... going strong. I know, it's because our community is so awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you, but now, you have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. The Tano. I thought she said reels. Did they say walls different? There is so much more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to supergameawards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's a look. Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. Yeah. 
Hey. Super Nintendo World. Now open at Universal Studios Hollywood. Sorry, guys, my phone's been charging for a while. Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director Caroline Marshall. Bonsoir, everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Legend. 
legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make an impact. The Game Award goes to... Chia! Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, Develop Ourself, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crifo co-founder of Ourself. I'd like to thank Ourself family for your trust and unbelievable talent, Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project, and the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> Hello, I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But, 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 that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, now this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like, <laughs> Hey, look, that one guy's here. Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod, Golden Sun. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and through everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. <laughs> so, So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. You know, I'm gonna offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. Yeah. That's a tough story. Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Hear my plea, Kalunga, God of Death, come to me! Show me you are ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call of the Death.
It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have a world premiere new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. If Triff. Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. Abandoned from your king. You thought you were a hero. Ordinary ghost, you'll have to risk your life. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Austin. Nobuo Utamatsu. Oh. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by oh, Lauren yeah. Balfe, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the, the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, Enjoy. What an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balfe and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. What we've done, that's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, dearie. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Bro, if you tell me they didn't just give the cyberpunk any credit, they're about to get sued. Look at that chat. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank okay, you so much for that incredible announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy 16. 
So Kitsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. And the Game Award goes to Cyberpunk. Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larian. All right. Nominees for Best Fighting Game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6. 6. And the Game Award this year goes to Street, Street Fighter, Fighter 6. 6. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Hades 2, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken Hades 8. Soon, or Tekken and the game award this eight. year goes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Congratulations, Square and Nomura san. All right. Well, it's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penokane, the next destination. the Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Turn that shit up. Relax, man. I don't bite. <sighs> Lock up tight now. Night's just getting started. There you go. Joining me now are Tinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel to tell us how did this come together, guys? Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan-favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane Leon, not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic passion. And that's why, on Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team-up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, 
Our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sébastien Mitton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, I said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. <laughs> I mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. And I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dinga, why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> Well, if, <laughs> if my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down, ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person action-adventure okay. set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So please sit back, let us cook, and voila! Merci beaucoup! <laughs> Merci! Wow, that, whoa! <laughs> Stunts too! Diga Bell, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. All right, awesome. Thanks, Diga. All right. Now please welcome the star of Twisted Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackie. Thank you. Everybody gave up. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay? Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. Jeez. <laughs> Now, no one knows this yet, so you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, everybody get your motor revving, because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> okay, stop it, you. Okay. Love you too. I see you. I see you. Shut up. Okay. Today. <laughs> The best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content and challenges, right? Oh, this and that's what this award for, for best <laughs> ongoing game recognizes. The, the game games that continue to deliver though. fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Put it this way. No gun, no fun. The hour is come, free try. Let the magic begin! Okay, I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so the game award goes to, shut up, shut up, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs>
This is heavy, dude. This is heavy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a journey. What, what a journey it's been. <laughs> Holy, video games are awesome. This is an incredible moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 in Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition. Like, the tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact. Worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun. Fun as hell. I, this is exciting. Team, we accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here. Please, <laughs> say something. And I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, triple-A, futuristic open-world game. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future, but for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing, let's take a look, Steve, here we go. Lift your head. Now open your eyes, slowly. Take a breath and look around you.
fate always tests us. You have to fight until the end. I'll find you. That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyoverse's next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I have my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom, and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at TGA. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you, live and exclusively Something here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring the best-selling writer Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. And sheltered with mama's pretty stories And you're all made up pure And mama gave me a magic clicker Well yes, I think it's true and fair to say It's the fabulous Poets of the Fall performing in the role of Old Gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life, something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. We all shared the same story, the same fate. A family of s remembers. I played this. I have this. Joining it's me now is Ulf yeah. from Ten Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago. We announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but. I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look good too. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're working on something new. Yeah. And uh, it's like a passion project like, like all our projects are. And you were one, known for payday, things like that, so you're back, yeah, back to some heist stuff? I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Okay. And yeah, it's, you know, it should is what it, it is. to the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's yeah. finally time to check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. It's... Here we go. Mr. Bowman, your reservation at Manon Aphis is in Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuroprodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Inject. Hi, Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Open to find in the Nexus Sentinels. You mother... 
There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, uh, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? What, Mr. Bowman? It's who? You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. <laughs> That was Exoborn. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of The Division. And besides facing other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the Force. It's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. And right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Oh, hello there. Now how about we turn on some lights? What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? What, dude? Well, it says our bosses are here. But what? <laughs> oh, yeah, there they are. Oh! Hey! Jonathan, no, it's Mr. Howard. Good catch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay, all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Best Adaptation. A vampire messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? Oh, I got this. No problem. 20 years ago, the world fell, but that's where the cause and guns come in. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, the best game goes to The Last of Us. <laughs> Okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot, uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much, thank you. Uh, that 
more of an awkward if it ain't been placed. Is this free? Yes, we're not free. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. I mean, it's evolved over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel, yes, I wanna keep doing that. I wanna keep making people feel things. So you are evil? <laughs> this negative energy just makes me stronger. We will not retreat. This band is unstoppable. <laughs> That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024, but what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something... Remember when he said they've been working on a game for a very long time. No Man's Sky did not have a good fallout, I mean, release. It took three years, I think, for them to fix the game. As varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, you can see oceans. So you is this like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, Does you know, know, it's quite a small team that's working on it. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're, actually, everyone's here. The, the 
everyone from the team is here. Should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Took too long to get there. Come on, he should know this. She was gonna. 30 seconds. Just kidding. But for three hours, they could have shortened a lot of things. I guess Simon is definitely actually in there. So I can't argue with that because uh, I would just drop this in Austin. I wouldn't mind missing it. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, it's very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to, and hopefully TGA too. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. Um, guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, Keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Yes, so happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all, and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten the voice. Let's have a look. Shut it off! What the hell was that? Cut the power! Now! It is too late, my friend. We done.
That was me. <laughs> See? Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best Action Adventure Game. You are the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. It's my fault. This is something else. Miles, get it off of him. We can fight this together. Your soul requires cleansing. How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. And the game award goes to, no surprise here, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this award, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best you of the best. You guys see what I mean? Well, it's a unique game and unique game. Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG. Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and Starfield. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Here are the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp, City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin 4. Here are the nominees for Best Sports Racing Game. EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Kurtat. The nominees for Best Multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations, Larry. Let's take a look now at this spectacular celebration of mobile gaming on Sphere from Google and Samsung. the Game Awards, we still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help, and we have some more world premieres, including this one.
There's currently so expected anymore um, thank you thank you so much um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you had